So I've been thinking, we have this Kingpin Hydrocopper block that we recently released for the Kingpin card. Um, and one of the cool features of it is that it comes with an OLED display uh, independent of the one that came on the hybrid kit uh, for the Kingpin as it comes from the factory. Um, but what's interesting about that and what you may not know is that the OLED display in the Kingpin block connects to the Kingpin card uh, via a different header uh, than the one that's used for the actual shroud of the hybrid version. So that makes me wonder, if I have two OLEDs and I have two headers on the card that are independent, can I run two of them at once? I don't think anyone's ever tried this and since I'm part of our product team, I guess I should know. So let's learn together if this actually works or not. Now, let me show you what I mean here. Uh, if I bring this up to the camera, maybe you can see, I'm not 100% sure. So this is the board on the, on the shroud of the Kingpin card. And right there is the header that it connects to on the PCB. That header uh, connects to the PCB with straight pins. And I believe the reason that we do that is because if you try to do this on the block, especially with the way that the block can move around before it's screwed down, um, there's a very strong chance you would just bend and break those straight pins. Whereas uh, with this uh, AIO uh, hybrid um, shroud, when you pull it up, it goes straight up. It can't actually move anything but straight up, so the pins are actually disconnected when you pull the shroud off. It's a nice design, actually, because it means that you don't have to disconnect a header for the OLED. It just does it by function of removing the shroud. Uh, I really do like that. So what we're going to do here is we're going to pull apart the card, and we're going to see if the usage of the OLED from the block with the one on the shroud uh, is actually even possible. And if there is a place that I can even route the wire through on the hybrid version to connect them together and have it all in one piece. Um, so, well, might as well just crack it open and see what we can find. All right, so I've got all the back plate screws off of this, so I believe the block should just separate. Um, whether or not it will do that is anyone's guess. All right. And you can see what I mean here. There's a completely different connector on the block. Uh, than what the shroud uses. All right, well, we've got the, the card down to a bare die here, and there is a header right here and a header right here, and these are the two that we actually use uh, for the OLED. One of them is for the actual uh, water block, and the other one is for the uh, shroud OLED on the AIO um, version of it. And uh, we're gonna see if we can connect both of these OLEDs at the same time and see what it does. All right, well, I mostly got the Kingpin back together as a hybrid card. Um, so I've turned the camera back on so that I can uh, remove the OLED screen from the uh, water block and put that onto the Kingpin card. All right, now I've removed the two hex screws that hold on the water block's OLED screen, so it should pop right off. Let's see. Yeah, there is an LED connector that goes into the uh, block itself because there is an LED in there. Um, but there we go. Uh, that is the module that's uh, machined aluminum. It's actually really uh, weirdly high quality. Um, and then it has the little board that the OLED display needs as kind of a display controller. Uh, and then the connector that goes to the card. Uh, so we're going to connect to that before putting on the shroud for the uh, kingpin card and hopefully uh, that will allow us to have both of them working at the same time and the real question is how do I put the shroud on such that this can actually fit obviously it wasn't designed this way uh, so maybe with a probe it header there's enough room
All right, that's more or less in one piece, it's fine. Um, so I'm going to put this on a test bench and we're gonna boot it up and Lord knows. So let's try it. All right, now that we've got this wild setup with the Kingpin card and the two OLEDs uh, connected, um, let's fire it up and see what happens. I really honestly have not fired this up before, um, so I don't know what's going to happen. Uh, and if it fails massively, um, it'll all be on camera. All right, so they're both definitely on, and the one on the card is working just fine. This one is not really displaying much of anything, though I will say, when I did have this display on the water block, I was actually seeing some similar stuff. There, there may be some issues with this actual display. Um, so can you run both? I'm not honestly sure. But uh, as you can see, it's not exactly working as I might have preferred. Well, all right guys, so maybe that was a bit of a massive failure, um, but it was an interesting thought experiment and it did prove that the two can be powered on. And again, I'm not 100% sure about that OLED screen uh, that's that's on the water block that I have, because it is a pre-production sample and I was having some issues with it when I first put it on the card. Um, so I don't know, uh, maybe you can actually run two OLEDs. Can they be controlled in the software? Um, since this one's not really displaying anything, I'm not gonna try it because it doesn't really matter. I'm not gonna be able to see any of the results. Um, but uh, it doesn't appear to do any damage to it, at least not in the short term. Uh, and I don't see why it would realistically. It's just two headers and it's a very low power thing. Um, so uh, definitely not something I'm gonna suggest that you try, um, but I suppose you always could. Uh, at any rate, um, expect to see more interesting content like this and uh, cool stuff on EVGA products in future videos. Uh, thanks again for joining as ever. Uh, click that subscribe button if you want to be subscribed and click that bell notification. It really does help us. Um, at any rate, you have a good rest of your day and we'll catch you in the next video.